There are a lot of benefits to allowing users to claim their listings on your business directory. First, it makes your job of maintaining the directory easier because users can log in and update their listings on their own. Second, you have the option to monetize your directory by offering to allow users to claim their listings, but for a fee. In this video, I'll show you how to make that happen with the claim listings add-on from GeoDirectory. Let's get started. Okay, so first thing we have to do starting in our WordPress dashboard is we have to install the add-on. So go to GeoDirectory and then Extensions. Scroll down to Claim Listings and then click Install. This is a paid listing, so you're gonna have to either pay for this or be subscribed to the subscription. And then click Activate when that's done. Okay, now that the add-on is installed, the next thing we have to do is add the claimed custom field to your form. This way users will be able to sort and rank by claimed listings. And also if we don't do this, the claim widget won't show up on the listings page. So we have to get this done first. So head over to your custom post type. If you haven't added any of your own, head to places and go to settings. If you have, you can go to that custom post type and then click settings. Then scroll down to your claimed field and then click it to add it onto your form. I'm just gonna keep everything as is here and hit save. Now let's add that claimed widget to the listings page. So I'm using Elementor to design and build my uh, directory. I feel like it's really easy and it's what I use to build all my other websites. So that's what I use for this. Um, and that's what I'm going to show you how to do in this video. If you want to uh, learn how to design your directory with Elementor, um, I do have a video for that that I will link below. Uh, there is an option to add a block with Gutenberg if you aren't using Elementor. GeoDirectory also works with a lot of other page builders like uh, Beaver Builder or Divi. So if you're using those, the, you should be able to find it as a widget there too. But for me with Elementor, I am going to hover over templates here under Elementor in the um, left sidebar. And then I'm going to go to Theme Builder. Then I'm going to click the single GeoDirectory listing um, template. Then I'm clicking Edit. And over here in Elementor where it says search for a widget, I'm going to type in claim. And then this widget will come up a uh, GD post claim. So then I'm going to take that and I'm going to drag that um, wherever I want it to be on the site. I think I'm going to put mine here. And then we have some options where you can change the text and change the design if you'd like. I'm just going to go ahead and leave that um, as default for now. And then I'm going to click update. So if you want to preview this page and you uh, click the three lines and go to view page like you do for most pages, you're going to see that the claim listings button isn't there. That's because you're not actually viewing a listing here. You're just viewing a, um, you're viewing the Elementor template. So you want to go ahead and navigate to a listing on your site. And then when you're viewing the listing, you're going to see that claim listings button. And then when you click that claim listings button, this form pops up. So the most uh, fun thing you can do with this add-on is connect it to the payment manager add-on to make it so for somebody to claim a listing, they have to pay for it. So let me show you how to do that. So let's close out of this and head back to the dashboard. And first of all, if you haven't done the payment manager add-on tutorial, I'll put the link to that in the description. And then after you have, have that set up, come on back to this video. So to add this to the claim listings form, you're going to want to go to um, whatever the custom post type is. For this one, my custom post type is RV Parks. Hover over that and then click Settings. And then click the Packages tab. Now what you're going to do here on your Packages page is edit each of your packages to show um, which ones you want available for claim listings. Now you actually have to edit all of your packages, even if you don't want them chosen for claim listings. Like for example, I only want it to be, um, people have to pay for it if they claim a listing. So I only want people to be able to buy featured listings when they claim the listing. Um, I'm still going to edit the free RV park listing also. So let me show you how that works. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and click edit on featured listing. And then I'm going to scroll down 
and go to claim packages and then choose the featured listing package. If I wanted them to be able to choose a free one, I would pick that one here also, but I do only want featured listing. You are welcome to um, have it so your customers can choose multiple packages if they want. And then I click save changes. We're going to go back to packages and I'm going to edit this free RV park package and scroll all the way down to claim listings. And then I am going to choose the featured listing and then save that one as well. And then let's go ahead and pop back, view one of our listings. And then when we click this claim listings button, it now has an option to select package. Of course, it, um, it only shows that one because that's the only one I chose, but you guys might have a list. So um, after that, if they click send here, it would send them, it would tell them they needed to check out to pay for it. I do want to note that this also integrates with Ninja Forms. Um, so if you wanted to customize this form, you could go ahead and install Ninja Forms and have a custom form up instead. So let me show you how to do that real quick. Let's close out of this, go back to our dashboard. Um, if you don't have Ninja Forms installed, go ahead and go into plugins search for the Ninja Form plugins. If you guys are watching this video, you guys totally know how to search for plugins. So go ahead and do that, install that, and then click it and go to Ninja Forms, add new. And then when you click that and get here, you are going to see a whole bunch of templates. And one of them is going to be um, GeoDirectory contact form. So go ahead and click that. And then you can edit this form um, as you choose. Don't forget that if you are taking payments, you do want to add on that uh, GD claim package field. I think in Ninja Forms we just click, yeah, not right. Or do I have to drag it? Let's see. Me and you guys are learning together. Usually I do. Oh no, I did just have to click it and there it is. Usually I do Gravity Forms. I'm not usually a Ninja Forms uh, girl, but that's what integrates with this. So that's what we're using. So then when you drag it on or click and it'll just appear, um, it is now on your form and you can change this however you want and then to save it click done and then to publish it click publish. So what we're going to do now is we're going to go ahead and head back to our um, listing template and we're going to take off that button for the regular claims button and then add this button for this form. So we're going to go to templates, theme builder, single geo directory listing, edit. And then let's go ahead and take out that uh, GD claim post. We're going to delete that. And instead, we're going to search up here in widget search for Ninja. And then GD Ninja Forms widget is going to come up. Go ahead and drag that over. And now you're probably going to want to change the text to claim listing. Oh, my, my caps is all weird. And you're going to have to choose a form. So pick the form that you created. You also want to uncheck this box here that says post contact form, then go ahead and click update and three lines and then view page. And again, what we're going to get is this is just the template page. So we're going to want to um, view an actual listing to test it. And then when we are on an actual listing, we're going to see a new claim listings button. And then when you click that, that is going to be your custom ninja form. Now, one other thing I, I want to make sure that you do before we finish up is you need to make it so that um, people can create accounts on your on your site. If you don't allow people to create accounts on your website, they're not going to be able to manage their listing, um, do all of this stuff. They just can't claim a listing if they don't have an account. So to make sure you guys have that set up, go ahead and head back to the dashboard and then go to settings general and where it says anyone can register make sure that's checked i'm pretty sure it doesn't come checked by default so make sure that's checked and then click save changes now when somebody does submit a listing you're going to want to approve it so uh, to approve it go ahead and click uh, geo directory and on your main dashboard it'll show you here when something needs to be claimed it'll should say um, pending claims this will be a number something will be here however many um listings you need to approve and then if you uh, check see all here actually let me make a quick test claim okay so this is what it's going to look like when you have a claim pending 
This one I didn't do the payment for. So if you see that somebody submitted a claim and they didn't finish paying, you know, you can go ahead and um, send them uh, the invoice to go ahead and pay that. But ideally, they go ahead and fill out the checkout form after they do the claim. And then from here, you can um, view the full details. And then when you view the few details, you can see all this and see if it's real. And if this looks good to you, then you can just hover over here and click approve. Of course, you can also reject it or you can delete it. So that's it. There you go. Now you can set it up so people can claim their listings on your directory website. If I was helpful to you, please don't forget to like and subscribe. If you're making your own website, I do have a freebie download for you in the description that could help you out so you can be sure that you're doing everything you need to do to get your site live. Thank you so much for watching.